A Rockford family says they owe their lives to the Red Cross volunteers who installed detectors in their home. That's because those smoke detectors went off, alerting them to a fire and allowing them time to get out. Today, the family thanked those volunteers. Reporter Brett Brooks was there for the reunion. From when the time I was a little girl, I was always scared about fire. At 2.45 a.m. on September 3rd, Doreen McCullough woke up to her worst nightmare. But this is the first time I've ever been in a fire. I was never the one growing up, but I've always been scared of one. And let me tell you, it's, it's an awful feeling. A vacant trailer next door caught on fire, spreading quickly to her home for the past 11 years. And I looked out the window, and all I seen was this big orange ball of fire, and I froze. It caught this whole south side of our house on fire. And the smoke alarm that Red Cross put upstairs is the one that saved us. The Salt and the Alarm campaign has saved 640 lives. Um, and we will add to that with Doreen and her family, the McCullough family, since it started three years ago. These two Red Cross volunteers installed the smoke detector that went off that night, saving the lives of everyone inside. The first reaction was like, wow, this is something which <laughs> we never expected. This morning, Doreen reunited with those volunteers. Something which is so emotional, we can't say it in words, it cannot be expressed in our feelings. Installing a smoke detector only takes about five minutes. After putting in around 300 smoke detectors in the area this summer, it took just this one to save a Rockford family. That five minutes is going to save and give them a whole lot of life after that. I just can't emphasize enough how important it is to have smoke alarms in your house. If, if that window wouldn't have been cracked and that smoke alarm wouldn't have been upstairs, I wouldn't be standing here right now. In Rockford, for your home team, I'm Brett Brooks. Doreen says her daughter heard the alarm first, allowing them to get out in plenty of time.